Hello guys and very welcome to this video and of course to my channel. Early this spring I opened up a module like this and show you guys the cells inside of it. That module was completely empty so there was no danger whatsoever. But however, <laughs> a lot of you guys asked me there why Volkswagen doesn't have any thermal handling to their batteries. Well, of course they have already taken care of that, but it wasn't showed up in that video because we did only look at one module there. So today I will just show you guys the whole battery and the coolant system so you know a little more about how Volkswagen take care of the thermal handling. So let's start this up guys. We are looking at the battery box that those modules will be standing in. And uh, we have uh, room for 10 modules, but we are only using 9 modules inside of this battery. Because we have left one space here for the high voltage relay and also the main BMS unit. That will be standing here and the contactors will be standing here. And uh, here we can see that we have some heat paste that will transfer the heat from the modules into the bottom of this battery. So uh, how this works is uh, simply that uh, this module is standing like this. Like so. And this is a big surface area. So all the heat that will be generated by this module is soaking up and transferred away via this button. And to be honest, I have not seen one car out there that, that had problems with overheating on their batteries. So this seems to be just fine. There is no need to go inside of the battery and have the coolant inside between the cells because, okay, you will of course have a much better cooling or heating but there will also be a risk to have that inside of that module and uh, maybe you will have some leak or stuff like that and that's not good at all so I think that this is a compromise that will work pretty good actually and as you can see we have some damage to this battery box but still we don't have any coolant fluid inside to this battery box and you know that the water and other stuff don't mix so well with electricity. So that's a good thing. And um, I also have to say that I don't think that the heating here is the problem. I think that the cold is the <laughs> worst part of it because those battery modules don't seem to heat up at all. Maybe if you fast charge them time after time, but uh, well, I'm not sure about that either. I think that Tesla Bjorn maybe have done some uh, tests to this. I'm not sure, but if you like to see tests on batteries and uh, range tests and other stuff, take a look at Tesla Bjorn's channel. He does a really good job to try those batteries and the ranges out there for those cars. So I will leave a link down in the description for you guys so you can take a look at it. Okay, let's go on here. I will now just turn this battery box around and uh, show you the coolant circuit on the back side here. So you will see how it looks. And by the way, here we have the inlet and the outlet, or maybe the other way around. I, I don't know that, but it doesn't matter in this case. So I will just unscrew these screws here. But before I do that, we can take a closer look at those dents, as you can see here. So you can see that we have a huge dent over there and the smaller ones here and a little bigger one here. And that's also the reason why they changed this battery box out in the first place. So there is a huge aluminum sheet here that will protect the battery. And I think that it did a really good job, but uh, I mean, you cannot build it too sturdy because uh, there is always a trade-off. 
between the weight, the costs and the risk of course. So now I just will loosen those screws here and uh, then we will remove this aluminium sheet and see what we will find behind it. Here we have it guys. So this is how the thermal handling looks in a Volkswagen ID3. And you will see the same structure on ID4 and the rest of the family there. First of all, we have all of the modules that will be standing on those ribs here or coolant uh, cells and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry my English is not the best here but you probably understand what I am saying anyway so here we have this huge dent and you can see that it is actually not so bad when we are looking at this from this side because uh, we have a huge space here around uh, I think it's around 15 millimeters between the aluminium sheet that I just removed. And then you can see that they have added one extra uh, 10 millimeter or so just by having this sheet pressed in this way. So it will be a little more space between the battery and this protection sheet here. And then we also have this reinforcement bars there you have the big dent there so it completely missed this bar here but uh, we didn't have any explosion that's good okay let's go on with the cooling so here we have the inlet of the coolant fluid it will go in via this connector here and then we have module number one here and then we have number two here and you can see that those are hooked up in uh, parallel let me zoom out here and here we do not have any restriction on those two here and we still have them in parallel and here we have a restriction <laughs> so this is module number five and then we have some heating and cooling to the relays here probably more cooling i guess so the main relays are standing on the other side right here and they are also sitting in coolant paste and then we have the bms standing on this area here and then we have module number uh, we have a restriction here you can see and then we have module number six and uh, seven, eight and number nine here. And here is where that stone really hit this battery. So now <laughs> we have a big restriction here, but you probably got the idea here anyway. And those studs are screwed into those bars here on the other side. So the whole structure here is really, really strong. So there we have it guys. This is how Volkswagen have done their thermal handling to those battery modules. And we are not taking any water inside of the battery modules itself. The heat is just transferred over to the bottom section of this battery housing. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I cleared some of your questions out here. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you next time. Take care guys and goodbye.